comes. Sanmonan, you may like Fede Who's it? Keep on in it. Who can it? Hello, it's a Fede Who's it? Hey, girl. Keep on. You welcome to it. Yeah, let's see these teenagers on a mission. Kona lagu SABC one Mzanti for show. The two awesome bears are in the building and enjoying enjoy it. But Fede, we're gonna take you guys into a beautiful world, into the world of life, science, and technology. Absolutely. Right now, as we do, Tommy Dumeng or do Mama Venus Dumeng, we send that pillar is science and technology. And today is no different. We're to Katie. We're to see Trust. It's about to get. Lit. Yes, today we're all about creative and innovative minds. Service Bona Banda Banjingo, Bill Gates, Nabo Mark Zuckerberg. What's Bona Banda Banjingo, Bill Gates, are they still successful? Hey, sha, sha. Got to get my point, eh? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to go to YouTube the other day, right? I'm going to go to YouTube the other day, right? I'm going to go to C++ programming. Yeah. Got to, he actually created his own video game. Kanjan, that's what I'm saying, eh? Because I'm going to buy a guaz who's fundela bona e programming and no fix up with some computers. Marandan, I see in Toko CLS Kelale. Yes, I'm going to go to YouTube. Yeah. We're going to informal and informal education. Yeah. So we actually learn differently from the both systems. Okay, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. But that wasting any time, let's get to it. Shema fellow, really sorry to think as you call it TOMZ. Roko panele tale ke mucho ole nguru utle te skolo mpa ki ei computer geek. Kero bana na horiana o kona jango kopanya di component sele gamara computer la lorhana e tertiary education. Kero bana na rohan tle tle di advantages sa informal le formal learning horizona ki ei. Kero bana na hori di component sele gamara computer han tle tle di sebeta shwa. Kero bana hori informal education han tle tle itu akai. Ri chuta ka informal learning, li exploration ya ding, huri i influenza joan kam huri chuta ndi ncho ka jikuli. Kri wani ruwena u tseba haka gang haraba pala the TLMZ quiz. Alright, tiki ma feti, sa spiki le bulle sos kati, last kuluma nani kui nkutla zeto kumala and lam shanji ma feti manafunu wazi. Do you think it's possible to be successful without a formal education? Let's see what you guys had to say on Twitter. Okala gospe te umawiza underscore J and he says, yes, it's very much possible but ninga mantu haba successful without formal education. Okay, cool, mbono wako ya futsa wa shonipa. Kwe spiki gospe te u chablani underscore M and he says, no, it is not possible Formal education is needed in our society in order to become successful. All right, cool. Two different views. Oh, man, just what's going on? Escola Martini, abang and Beatrice, let's go. Come. Alright, Tikim Zanti, we've heard what you guys had to say on social media. Right now, says Sinte Panti, Lana M. Morris Isaacson High School. To find out from the learners, good morning, Ashley Ashley. But come on, Malolo Dab. Let's get straight into it. So, Swami, Sabona? Yeah, Unjani? Yeah, Pilar and Jan. And I'm Nandi. Let me just catch you, Ashley, when you come along, Kuban. Now, what do you think of I mean, I think it's a trick like Okay, nice one. Now, informal education. Well, I think informal education is when we are in the same way. We are in the same way. Like, it's a tutor or a teacher. It's like a school. It's a school. It's a school. It's a school. It's a school. I think it's a school. I think it's a school. It's a school. It's a school. Like, unga is kolwe ni ushalos da chela usfundi se like kwe. Do you think kubalegi le normal? Do you think it's possible for umon to unga nayo informal education guta pumele limbilwe? Yeah, kubalegi le unga pumele limbilwe ni unga yanga ushailo ni so i formal i informal education ni gini. Yeah, we pambi di to limbilwe kai tu kwe. No. Why? Because like si tingu tu utinga mo qualification gasha shabo. Like a good Uhambe, Ufunde, Utole, Ama, good summer degree, Nama diploma, good to be successful. So, my friends, we all learn differently, and the song can we have different kinds of intelligence. So, in nine different ways, informal education is not the Ranjani to identify these strengths. Noguti is not the Ranjani to actually learn better in a formal setting. Hmm. Check this out. Informal education is a hormone we to turn to it a catalor I a school of formal skills too. For example, who never was Babana, the Bellum or Way to Tide School, but the one to Teva to Bellum or Way to Tide Bassayan School, Mba Heba Hono who would turn about to Bagari skills too. But Babana the Hebelum or Way to Tide Mechanical Engineering by Les Colom, Baba Sayan Scolum, Bahono Lucas Adicoloi, Basabilis Technology, Yao Lucas Adicoloi, Candolor by a Scolum, Ibilaki Kam Hoba Sebetan, Massabeti Eva Sebetan Kajikuli. Informal education can to eling or in the elite in the Gonza Halete fitting. Harna Hanaka and Catella Esso, Pilher Hono Hogola Le Hubala, but Wabanga Tabapilan Camara Environment Taruna, the Basahon who is an elite portfolio, the natural forces, Lebatubaba. 
Protokhan Opila hai pre-literate people na ba chantur ba yate di skills sa cultural and educational patterns. Kalaba kala direct informal education ba tswadi ba tswa ba holo le ba ruti no chantur ba ruti ba na ntshotse tshwantseng ba ditsebe le re ba tlo gona o di sebedisa ha se ba hodile. The theory of multiple intelligences based on people having different intellectual strength and IQ tests being limited to assessing intellectual capacity was developed in 1983. If the informal education has been a way of life since Iminyaga Imningi, it cannot be ignored in the formal learning process. Yes, that's true. And you guys can see some companies from the US actually sell AMA computer kits for Abandwana to actually build their computers from scratch. Mm, and yes, Benzani, that's Baba Kayama problem solving skills. Mm, and yes, and Dana Gutsilento Leo actually Iagnata as a monitor, right? Tell us what you think on our social media pages. We're going to take a shot at break. We'll be back. Charles. Hey Tawal, I'm Zanti. Welcome back. You are still tuned into the biggest and the best high tech show in the land. And I'm going to see you with TOMZ. And you hang out with the two awesome bros. So, I'm going to ask you generation here to like, explore. And then, I'm going to each and every day. I'm going to ask you actually dropped out of school. What's the fundies? I'm going to ask you by observing our mechanics. And now, I'm he's successful and he earns his own workshop. Mm, nice one. Now, we're going to the increase of his science knowledge as well as technology has sparked the interest of Ubuntu. Apps from scratch without any formal learning. Hmm. Who's our guest for today's episode? So we are in KZN Namsanje. So touchdown at Tech Wini where we're about to meet a young man who's making very big moves despite not finishing school. Let's go hear his story, guys. Summit. How are you? Good and you? Have a seat. <clears throat> uh, my name's Nick and uh, I've been fixing computers for since I finished, well since I left school. I've been just doing computers, yeah. Okay. I've got passion for computers. I see. So when, when did this passion start? Uh, I would say when I was very young, like, I just loved, like, waking up early and just playing games in the lounge and stuff. And um, from there, I just uh, get better games and getting better games, you need better computers to run those games. So I started learning a lot that way. I see. And you, and you taught yourself? <clears throat> yeah, definitely. How, how exactly did that um, turn out? Just by, yeah, well, sometimes not as good as you would imagine, but uh, yeah, trial and error, I suppose. You know, I would just try as hard as I could. Even if I didn't know what I was doing, I would get someone to teach me and then just practice, yeah, opening things and I just thought if I could get a craft or something that, you know, people needed, I would be able to make money. I see, I see. So, when, it, when exactly did you decide I'm going to leave school and how did your parents take it? Well, I said to my parents that I would do homeschool, yeah, so that's how I got out of school. Okay. <laughs> So I told them I would do homeschool and I would do computers on the sideline. So that's how I started, but then I never completed the, the homeschool. Why is that? Because I just got so busy uh, computers and yeah, uh, I suppose chasing after money. Yeah. Kilele amo tu ikhona ufuma na ibile processi information katila ebiti rhalo ebona dinto with imagery. Kilele amo chona isebiti sa the graphic ways or isebiti sa the limit na hano ya how lika bho ufuma na information. But we have a lot of information about the Hanke, Hello Rubana Hanadinto, visually, even the Bahono Hunana, critically and integrate new knowledge easier. Kelelemo to hear a Hono Hunka information automatically e organize it into a whole. Laluro attention now is shabbling to ailing with him. So, Nick, all the way from a passion and a hobby to a business, please tell me the process of how this came about. I found that by doing computers, it's something I like to do and the time goes fast and it doesn't feel like I'm working, you know, it's like um, just having fun and I'm making money at the same time. Uh, then I saved up and then I started um, buying a lot of parts and stuff and then just, yeah, word of mouth I suppose and a lot of people started just coming to my, my mom's place, actually where I was staying. And yeah, that's where my business basically started and using Gumtree and, you know, social networks. Okay, and now you have your own place? Yes. And you're running your own business, so how is that? Oh uh, yeah, it's much better. I mean, especially being close to a Technicon, you know, everybody uses laptops. So, cheese laptops is just, yeah, it's 
a really good money maker. I get a lot of business, especially being right on the road. People driving past, they just see that I'm doing laptops. And once they've been to me once, they, they always seem to come you back. Trust yeah, yeah. That's like that's one of my main goals is to be honest, okay. have an honest service. Yeah. Okay, so seeing as though you're teaching yourself, I want to know exactly how you obtain this knowledge to be fixing electronic devices. Uh, geez, okay, I would say a lot of uh, videos on YouTube actually, yeah, because models of laptops and computers are so different and diverse. So I would have to go and look at how that model was opened and then I would learn from there. So definite trial and error, yeah, definite. Where it's got me into trouble a lot of times because I would know, well, I think I would know the computer, but when I got there, I didn't know it and then I would fumble a bit. But yeah, it's all about learning, I suppose, yeah. Sounds like a lot of time spent. Yeah, yeah, many hours, many long nights, uh, definitely early hours of the morning uh, watching videos and actually practicing it. Like you can pause the video and do exactly. some and then carry on. So the, uh, the internet is an amazing tool. Very, very amazing tool. I see. So how long did this journey take and what kept you going? Um, Jeez, I would say I've been doing it for the last like 12 years, eh? Since, like, since I was in probably standard six, seven was when I first started charging, you know? I used to just fix friend stuff and uh, yeah, that's when I found I had a knack for computers. Computer and a processor information. central processing unit. computer and a the motherboard. CPU and a hono communicator, the hardware components, the link of computer golf here. CPU is a very sad instructions or the hono guide, a bit of a city program, the link of Maharayon. When I did step safe for it, I'm going to party program the hono seven without any errors. A pillow and a repeat or give fetch, come on a CPU is a bit of a roadmap or the hono formula, the desired program. It decodes, says on a story, a hono formula program and break it down to the desired programming language. So, let's say I bring to you a broken computer right yeah. today. How exactly would you start unpacking and seeing where the problem is? Okay, uh, first thing is I would open it in front of you, you know, because we've just met now. Yeah. So, like, we, you don't really trust me that much, you know, and then in computers there's a lot of, especially Durban, there's a lot of, um, how can I say it, canavas, you know, so, yeah, I would say, I would open it in front of you and show you your parts. I would say this is your hard drive, this is your RAM, and I would give it to you so that if you left the computer with me, you know you've got your personal stuff, like all your personal items will be on your hard drive, like your photos and everything that's yours. So I would give that stuff to you, but if you trusted me, you would leave it with me, you know, which, yeah, which in a few jobs you will trust me. So anyway, yeah, so that's how I would start. I would open it up, I would kind of get you to see that I know what I'm doing, you know, like I open everything in front of you, and then, yeah, I would, if I couldn't find the problem right there and then, I would book it in, and then I would, say give me two days you know and i would get back to you i'll take your number and i'll either whatsapp you or i would uh, call you in the morning and say how how the progress is going okay so with such a success mm. um have you ever thought of going back to school to get more knowledge maybe? sure i have actually uh, i just would like to finish my matric like yeah it's just it's just like uh, in my family everybody's su succeeded you know they've got like degrees and stuff and here i am with no you know no matric succeeded? yeah yeah okay money but not 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 like um, sort of say like stature you know yeah. uh yeah i'd like to and also uh if i have kids in that you know i want them to sort of stay in school on that and not have to struggle like I did, you know, like um, when I when I dropped out, basically. So tell us more about those struggles. Uh, sheesh, I would just say it's hard to look for work, you know, when you've got to go for an interview and, and kind of say to, they ask you, have you got a matric? Yeah. And I'm honest, so I would most of the time say just, yeah, straight up, this is, I don't have it, you know. And they would respect that honesty, but yeah, it's, it's kind of embarrassing in a way. So now that you'd coined this whole fixing of computers and all that, how did you actually master the business side of it? Uh, I would say obviously by working with a lot of suppliers and other guys who have been in the field for a long time. Yeah. 
uh, I saw how they worked and how much they charged and uh, uh, I kind of went from there. And it also, it also matters on the make and model of, of the computer, you know. Some computers are so expensive that to change just a tiny part of it can cost thousands, you know, absolute thousands. Yeah. So, you know, you might just see a computer, but it, it can actually have really expensive hardware inside, you know. Oh, wow. Donna, actually, here's the young Khaleli Sali episode. Ne, could see Miss Khaleli FPM or a video game from scratch. Valentini, if they could do it, then you can do it. And you, as a TMZ, can also do it. God damn it, Shwuti, we are scared. Yeah, true. So, we're facing Mfunguaz with me, Nani Kabanga, and informal education. Hit us up and share your thoughts on our social media pages. Konama, we're going to take a shot at break. See you later. Times. And just like that, we're back in the building. You guys still tuning to SABC One in for sure. Let's get Penis Mugele, teenagers on a mission. Yes, now, my boy, yeah. during the ad break, no, that is actually good in direction, right? When we're in Gama directions, we kind of love it. And in Donna, we have a one, but we actually go through that. But Kona in Tebis on HGPS, it's not decided to actually find our directions. About who are good in directions, are picture smart, but in spatial intelligence, again, and Donna, again, in Gondo Zabo, are constantly recognizing a male. Landmarks. Sure. Yeah. But that being said, someone's open. So, with the stigma as big as dropouts, I want to know what kept you going mentally, how you stayed positive in times that were um, obviously hard. Uh, geez, I would say, yeah, like a lot of people who actually passed my trick and got their certificates and were going for high paying jobs. I just thought I could equal them or better them with my skill, you know, my skill of fixing computers that everybody uses. So I just thought I could become a specialist in my field without a matric or papers, you know. I could do it on my own. Yeah. Uh, also, the passion for computers, it was something that I really liked to do, you know. So it was easy to just do it. It's not like a job where I had to go and work and then go and do something I liked. I was doing something I liked all the time, so yeah. So what would be your message out there to young people who aren't necessarily doing well in school, not because they're lazy, but because maybe they're not really understanding or they get bored easily? What would you tell them in starting their own business or becoming their own um, em employers? Jeez, I would say definitely find something that you are passionate about and that um, you have fun doing and uh, don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. Like, there'll be so many times where you just think, like, maybe I should just go work for somebody, you know, I'm sick of just not getting a salary. But if you stick to what makes you happy, eventually it won't be about just the money. Yes, money is nice, you can do things with it, but it'll also be about, like, just living life and, and having a good life. Yeah. That's exactly how it is done. Unik has said it all. Uma Ushala, driven, determined, and find your true passion. You can do whatever you set your mind to. Okay, from Ubuntu, signing out. All right, my friends, just got to figure it for the Tom's Quiz Challenge. This is the time where we get to put your knowledge to the test, my friends. So please do head on over onto our Facebook and Twitter pages and play along. Right now, I'm in Afunu Wazut Kakiyate. You see, please call us later. So I'm still under 40. Obani also mang noba when it comes to the Tom Speed Round. Master, let's play. And that is why in today's episode, Rilendra Chakela Isaac Morrison's High School. Let's go to Larike Misiri to have some fun with you guys. Hante Ritu Takala Fatile Makatan La Science and Technology. Lights, camera, and action. Are you ready to experience the ultimate edutainment? Rile Rabu Yisara with some of the learners. Rabu Pala Di Kem Tsem Nati. Rajaiva, Raitutan Totencha. And we had loads and loads of fun. Rabu Fali Di Bukate Makatan that will empower the learners and keep them motivated. Di Bukate Di Toba Tusaka Career Guidance. Hoba Ni Kinako E Tsantim Bana Hane Kabu Kamu Soba Bon. It's cool to be smart guys and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And with TOMZ by your side, learning becomes fun. Ntoyo Na Ribita Oriki Edutainment. Alright, we tested their knowledge with the TOMZ because we saw Team A winning the first round. Team A was first on the buzzer. What is your answer? B. So your answer is B. False. B. False. Alright. Is this true or is this? Real right to the second round. More than Rabona. More to all shall feel over me. I'm going to kick or get or start knocking everyone out. Or I thought about Papa, the speed round master. Harabona, the pyramid puzzle. True. 
True. Congratulations, my boy. Unfortunately, you've been knocked out. Thank you so much for playing. All right, congratulations to Offense for making it this far. Lena gave a fair to CVs and a Tom Speed round master. My boy, how do you feel? Uh, I'm cool. You know how to talk, you know, Jiraji? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, don't forget the very same pattern we bear going in down. Now, I'm going to put it in on top of a small piece, right? You have two minutes to do exactly that. And your two minutes starts right now. And I'm going to decide and cheer him on. Cool. Oh, offense, and I'm all confused because there's just a lot going on. All you have to do is email TOMZ at sabc.co.za. All Unfortunately, my guy is shy. He's lento. He's lento. He's confused. He's confused. He's for playing it here, MZ Quiz Nati Buffet. So I'm talking all about informal education, right? If you share it to Ibuya Gaganjan, hmm, very interesting. Let's go check it out. Information every few months, I'm already getting the turn. I can't even hold on to it. So I'm interested to run. How to roll up the innovative, rich to technology into your own ear to Sahara Libana Bakajukuli. Modi Kolon Zarne here, from an age curricula, elongo ito kono or tusa to make education less formal. Ibilo horhobe mnati hui tuta di tuvej. The school's specialization to honor to serve for many theory and practicals, Harry to take a science. Skills focused education system, Kyone Honor to say, more short and thing in our careers. For the facilities, there is a calculator to some refumanebana, but the bank science in the maths was standing by the banana to honor what to say, more come soon, Babo. I give a fair to unfortunately says figure my picture in all the really to Nam Sanji. Thank you so much for tuning in to it here in Jing and Joel. But don't you despair because the conversation still carries on on our social media pages on Facebook one more time. We are TMZ on Twitter at Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. Yes, most day if any funny information in English, but first all you have to do is go onto our website www.sabceducation.co.za forward slash TOMZ. Or you can simply visit my personal page. We can hang out there and have a chat at Fresh by Caddy. At RMC underscore G. And that's how we wrap things up. Thank you so much for watching TMZ and Janet Alianza. Stick around to find out what's coming up next time on the show. <gasps> Some of you are on the next episode of TMZ. Filter fell in love with skateboarding from the first moment he ever stood on a skateboard. The mother went on her apprentice around to build on his skateboarding techniques, did his skills to high for the last five years. Also, the Pedica skateboarding, Lip Hashida, and Zay Hulang for the sport and pushes his talent to new heights. But skateboarding, you're like getting, and what can one do with it? Uskalevalo Shabela TLMZ Kalabunel Lamsan, Kahafa 2, more SABC1. Zanzi the show.